Hello guys, it's Chris here. Right, now hopefully you're aware by now that Head & Shoulders is the official hair care partner of Tough Mudder UK and today is the day. They've challenged me to the course, uh, I've had my training sessions with Hector and Max and uh, I'm ready to go. Now to fill in some of you that might have forgotten, Tough Mudder is a 12 mile obstacle challenge, widely regarded by many as the toughest event on the planet. I've got three mates alongside me today to uh, join in with the course and I'm hoping that we'll have all three alongside me by the end of the course. Right, from the viewer's perspective, it might be a little bit difficult to work out who three of us are today. Are we ready for it, boys? Ready. Let's get yeah. going. Let's Come on, let's get into it. And as of then, we were away. The 12 mile course had begun. Now, uh, there's a lot of jogging in this. I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of jogging. I can't emphasize that enough. So I'm going to cut a lot of it out and just show you the obstacles mainly. But this took about five hours in total, okay? Yeah, just give us a chat. If anyone's feeling it, we'll just drop it. Top gear rules, no? <laughs> <laughs> feel free. You're not getting many subs to your channel, though. <laughs> right, then after a little break. It's a cold day, lads, all right? We came across our first obstacle. Right, now the first obstacle, we've got a kiss of mud right now. This is one I trained with uh, Max to deal with all this. We've got the barbed wire and everything, so let's get into it. Now, I think the thing about this one is that no matter how much you train and, uh, you know, try and prepare for something like this, when you're on the day and they've watered the ground, but it's not quite muddy enough, so it's basically just water and gravel, you can't prepare for how much it hurts. It is also real barbed wire. There was a guy whose job was just literally to stand there with a microphone going, it will cut you and it will hurt. Oh good. <laughs> that elbow's on that. Oh, that's literal gravel. Come on, Ollie. And then I made the mistake of asking what was next. You basically slide down a tube into a uh, bowl of ice. Good. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Come on. It's on me tweeting out that we're doing it here, halfway. Denied. <laughs> Brandy just parred off that little girl. Oh, did I? No, sorry. We good? So we cool. right. We got oh, stick and this one. Ice. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Chris, how are you feeling? We literally couldn't speak at this point. Well, actually no, we did say a few words. Then Mark and Ollie shortly followed us. <laughs> Meanwhile, me and Brandon had just lost all thought process and were just meanlessly running in circles. Ah, oh, I'm in pain. I'm in literal pain. I open my eyes oh, in the muddy bit. 
That's insane! That's a Yeah, <laughs> accepted death. Go under, go under. That was horrible. Hopefully you can't see through my sports bra on this one. Carefully. Don't tell me what to do. Right, so we've just got up to the hero walls, which is obviously a section I trained with Max for. We're just looking at how everyone else is doing it. Cause like, even just looking at it here, they're so much bigger than you expect when you look at it. So I think we might have to have Ollie starting off, <laughs> starting at the bottom, and uh, take it from there. Right, Sam, let's do it, boys. Um, right. We then realised sending Ollie over first was a better idea before we were all not there to lift him up and the jobs passed over to an innocent member of the public. This helpful bloke was giving us leg ups. He had the 25 Tough Mudder Legionnaire band on too, so it felt like we should possibly just possibly work with him. I went up second using that technique Max had taught me, you know, keeping body very close to the wall and everything. Before the helpful guy just seemed to lose patience and this next leg up on Mark just went entirely wrong. Fools. <laughs> no! What team? <laughs> No one with the Wildcats, really. What team? Wenger out. <laughs> Next up was this obstacle called the Block Ness Monster. It's pretty much what you'd expect. Ready, boys? Ready? What's the water like? Oh, it's not warm. The general idea was that you had to work in a group and turn these rotating blocks to get to the other side of the lock, where the only shouts of monster came when Ollie lost his shorts going over one of the blocks. But that was just a nice atmosphere for the whole day, and this sort of sums it up, like everyone would stop and help other people getting through, and you know, you, you just help along and with other groups and help them to get through it, so it was nice. We were, however, stuck standing in this pond for about 20 seconds at this point, waiting for Ollie to reappear over the block. Like, is he drowned? Four feet of water, really? Yeah, I got a full mouth when Ollie just plowed into Ollie, that. Yeah, that. Full mouth. Well, you went straight in <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, Ollie did actually lose his shorts and he was looking for them in the water. That's why he spent so long there. Damn it, there goes my thumbnail material. <laughs> Do we smell or something? <laughs> I think actually yes, probably. <laughs> it's probably not, not the least likely of things. <laughs> Next up was the mud mile, and the guys there said it would look so much better if we did it at pace. So three of us did. Unfortunately, Ollie got mud in his eye right at the start, so spent most of it repeatedly decking himself. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is fun. Been you wanting to play on an adventure playground for years, damn it. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Another 20 minutes or so on, and this was our next challenge. Essentially monkey bars, but with more of a consequence than usual. How are you feeling? This is... Wait, so if you fail, you this is looking out. big. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one, there's no way I'm lasting it. And me and Ollie were up first.
Top Gear rules, Ollie. It was a good attempt, but I just wasn't quite expecting the jolt you get when you reach the bottom of the wheel. And this guy a little further down did exactly the same thing as me at exactly the same time. Team GB synchronized swimming, sign us up. Okay. How's that feel? Do you know what? I'll take that. I've got decent distance, it's just the swing at the end really like jolts you. Sorry, I think I've got a bit on the camera there. Then in the meantime, Mark and Brandon were absolutely smashing it. One of us got there. I wish I'd gone last now so yeah. I could see. When you've seen it, you know how to adjust. No, and yeah. I stopped it and yeah. let it go the whole way down. Yeah. So I didn't get as much. Yeah, yeah you can literally look at us because your hair is just <laughs> My hair's really so frustrating. Yeah. Oh, it's covered in mud though. Yeah, it's a shame we don't have a certain shampoo to use that, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> now after that, we were up to mile nine and Shawshanks was the next obstacle, which involved crawling through a tube and being dumped into another pool of water. Can we call it that? Take a tube, any tube you can go when the person in front of you is around halfway up. You want to get into the tube. <laughs> Tubes. So yeah, this one was a bit of a graph. You had to climb like on your back, holding onto this rope up this tube and then tumble into the water below. And then back flopping was a serious up? obstacle. Listen to Mark's yeah. here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> then just before mile 10, it was time for the Head and Shoulders sponsored obstacle, the Augustus Glute. Oh, actually, just before that, some more jogging. But then... Cool, right, so we're on to uh, somewhere around mile nine. That's sort of the area that we're on to now. We're about to hit the Augustus Gloop, which is, uh, we got blue water heading up the ladders. Uh, there's a lot of showers going down at the top, so I think it could be a wet one again. So sorry about that, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it, it. nice. Let's do right, it. Sound. This was what it was all about, that 7 a.m. start. Those weeks of cardio, it all seemed so worth it at this point. I can't put it into words. Like, really, I can't. Okay, and now we were almost there. There are only a few obstacles left, only a couple of miles left at this point, but now is probably the toughest remaining obstacle, Everest. Right, so we're at the finish line. We've got Everest 2.0 to do left. Is anyone going to go straight up without trying for any assistance? Is the question. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> <point laughs> don't worry. There's someone currently hanging upside down, which seems like a questionable tactic. Absolute teamwork at the end, so uh, let's get it done. This time, Brandon was up first.
said you're good. <laughs> Go on, Holly. Let's crack on, yeah. Sound smashed it. Now this part of the course was marketed misleadingly. I do just want to point that out. After we had to continue going up after climbing Everest. Now after some discussion, the Tough Mudder teams had allowed us to finish the course in the same way Legionnaires do it, which allowed us to film the Kong. And at this point meant we had about 200 meters and just one last obstacle left. And it was one I trained a lot with Max for. So we were prepared. Now I'd put my hand in some water as we were climbing up, so frantically I was trying to dry it on anything I could find at this point, which included this woman's shirt. With her consent, you'll be glad to hear. There was no chalk around here to help me this time. I, and as soon as I started, I knew I was in trouble. Slippy. Anyway, then Brandon was up. Oh, Brandon's gonna do it. Go on, Brandon. Yeah, well, it, nice. All right, at least one of us got across. I'm sure Mark will struggle though. Well, I'll be. They both smashed it. All right, there's still Ollie though. At least I'm not the only one. To <laughs> oh, they've all done it without spending a day with an Olympic champion. Well, this is exactly how I wanted this video panning out. As I lined up for my second attempt, there was massive pressure on. There was no way I could fail at this one. Slippy hands, slippy hands, that's what it was. I had wet hands. My left hand was soaked at the start, so I literally just slipped off. Yeah, all right, lads, let's keep it PG.
Right, so finally we're at the finish line. We're all in a bit of a state right now. It's been a lot of fun. We enjoyed it, guys. It's been good. It's been good. I think I'll definitely come back for another year. Anyway, we're going to head into the showers now and clean us all off with the old head and shoulders. You know how it is. See you next year. Right, good showers, lads. Big thanks to Head and Shoulders again for making this all possible, giving me the opportunity and everything. It was a lot of fun today. We've finished Tough Mudder. We've taken up the challenge. Guys, big thanks again for coming along. Cheers. It was a lot of fun doing it. Cheers, boys. Thanks, no Oliver. Not leaving you out there. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So yeah, that's it. Uh, please make sure to leave a like, of course. Subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, yeah, check out all the other videos we've recorded to do with this. And I shall see you later.